Hello friends, welcome to Ultmania. This is the fifth part of our login and registration system. And today in this video, I am going to show you how to make login page functional with Remember Me concept using PHP. In the previous video, you have already seen how to make register page functional. So now I am going to make login page functional. So let's start. So you can see this is our index.php file and we have already submit the login form details using ajax so here is the ajax coding you can see here now i will i will use this ajax submit and i will code here in action.php and do the login process okay so let's see so first we need to check if it's set post action and we will also see post action equal equal login so in the registration process we have checked action equal to register because we have mentioned uh, we have just mentioned action and action equal to register here in the ajax um, coding and in login uh, in login we have mentioned action equal to login here so we will get we will check using this line of code so if this action equal to login then this if part e will be executed so first we need to start our session so session start now we need to define our variable so post username and this username is coming from the name attribute which is here you can see you can see in the login uh, form name attribute value is username and password name attribute value is password so we will grab the inputs from here using this name attribute okay so just go here and now for password create a variable and just use post super global variable and so use password here now we have to make sha1 here because we have in the registration time we have just used this password hashing algorithm you can see here as ha1 so we have to use also uh, this here now now we will select the username and password from the database so we will write statement we will create so we will create a statement underscore l for login okay now equal to our connection and we will prepare and here we will select select asterisk asterisk means all the column from from so we have to write our table name so what is our table name user so type user here where where username equal to question mark and password equal to question mark and this username and password is the column name of the table so let's check so uh, username uh, uh, the column name of username is username and password is pass so we have to write pass here okay 
now we have to bind the bind this value so we have to use statement underscore l statement underscore l now bind param and two fields both are string so we have to pass sorry so we have to pass to s here now just declare variable here first for username and second for password now we have to execute the statement statement underscore l execute now we have to grab we have to fetch our username and password if they select from the table so create another variable user equal to statement underscore l and fetch now now we will check if 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 user sorry if user not equal to null it means if user is present the user uh, the username and password will uh, fetch then we will check if user equal to not null it means user is uh, present there so we will execute this if statement so here we will just create a session variable session we will store our username in session so we will use this equal to our username so our username has been stored in the session now we will echo and we will pass a string ok here now we will work for our um, remember me concept so we will check again if not empty not empty equal to post rem so where is this rem coming from so this rem is coming from this input checkbox remember me input checkbox the name attribute has a value rem so we are checking if rem equal to not empty it means if the rem is the this checkbox is, is checked then do this stuff here so in this case we will set cookie we will use cookie here so set cookie and the name of cookie will username and we will also set user name here and we will use time time plus 10 10 into 365 into 24 into 60 into 60 okay now copy this same line and do for the password field so just password now if the remember me is checked then the then both field will uh, set, uh, set this will set this cookie with username and password and if and if the checkbox is not checked then else part will execute so we will also check here if it set if it set cookie 
यूजर नेम इफ इट सेट यूजर नेम देन वी विल सेट सेट कुकी यूजर नेम द नेम ऑफ द कुकी एंड द वैल्यू सो वी विल जस्ट डिफाइन इम्पटी वैल्यू बिकॉज वी इफ द चेक बॉक्स इज नॉट चेकड देन वी विल वी विल डिफाइन एन इम्पटी कुकी देयर सो नाउ इफ एक्सेट कुकी पासवर्ड नाउ हेयर वी विल ऑल्सो सेट कुकी पासवर्ड एंड वैल्यू विल बी एम्पटी सो वी विल ऑल्सो चेक प्रिंट एरर मैसेज हेयर इको लॉग इन फेल्ड चेक योर यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड ओके सो इफ यूजर इज नॉट फाउंड इट मीन्स वेन यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड इज नॉट फाउंड ऑन द डेटा बेस देन दिस मैसेज विल echo their login field check your username and password and if the user name and password will match from the uh, database then this if uh, statement will execute okay so our this php code is done now we have to we have to go there index.php and let's come to the ajax part of coding in login so in success first we will check if response if response equal 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 triple equal means we are checking identical value so our identical value is okay now this okay is the this okay okay so when the user is matched and the login is successful then we will uh, catch this response from the server and we will just check response equal to okay uh, if response equal to okay then we will redirect our re, we will redirect to our profile page so window dot location window dot location equal to profile dot php okay now and we will also create else and in else we will show this we will show this error message here so just paste now here is fine now we have to also check in above the index dot php file we have to write php now we will check here session sorry change to php so we will check here so first we need to start our session start and we will check if it set equal to session session username then we will redirect to our profile page so we will use header header location location equal to profile dot php okay it means we, uh, first we uh, when we uh, open our project then this index dot php will open and first 
दिस पी एच पी कोड विल चेक इफ इफ एनी सेशन विल स्टोर द यूजर नेम देन फर्स्ट इट विल चेक द इफ यूजर नेम इज प्रजेंट इन द सेशन देन इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली रीडायरेक्ट टू द प्रोफाइल डॉट पी एच पी पेज एंड इफ द इन सेशन द यूजर नेम इज नॉट प्रजेंट देयर देन इट इट विल स्टे इन द सेम इंडेक्स डॉट पी एच पी पेज ओके सो वी वी हैव टू राइट दिस कोड एबव द इंडेक्स डॉट पी एच पी नाउ वन थिंग वन थिंग इज मोर वी हैव टू वी हैव टू डू फोर हेयर सो we have to come in login form and in username field we have to assign value value and we have to just write php and check if is set if is set cookie so if cookie equal to username username is present there then we will echo then we will echo echo cookie equal to username cookie username and we will do this same for the password also just control c and control v here just change this to password okay so if it set cookie equal to password then echo cookie equal password and we will also do here in this input check box we have to just we have to just check here php if if it set if it set equal to cookie username user name user name then open bracket here and we have to just check check and here we have to close our this okay so this is fine now let's check is this working or not so open your project here refresh this so we have just registered uh, uh, one user with username wolfmania and our password is 123456 so let's try to login wolfmania 123456 okay so i am not going to check this first time click on login so you can see here uh, the login is working fine here we are on profile.php page so we uh, when we want to go index.php then we will not able to go to index.php because we have already uh, we have already check that if the username is present okay so we uh, the username is present in the session and if we want to go to index.php from the url then we can't go back so first we need to create our profile.php page so quickly i am going to create the profile.php so just profile.php okay so here i will just write doc5 profile and copy the this bootstrap css library here yeah, just just remove this paste and also paste these line these scripts 
jQuery and popper and this okay control C and paste inside the body tag okay now I'm going to create a nav bar so for this I'm going to just open uh, w3school.com and slash bootstrap 4 and there you can check navbar and from navbar i am going to copy the this um, this okay so i am going to just copy this sorry copy this and just paste here and choose HTML here and so here we will just write sorry wolf wolf mania and this link should be services blog and this is our drop down menu so here we will we will just show our username and in here we will write setting we'll just remove this remove this and here we will write log out log out and here we have to mention our log out dot php okay so we have we did not created this logout.php so we first so first we need to create this so just copy this first we need to show how this is looking refresh this profile so you can see here a drop down with uh, so i am going to keep this in right side so here i will use ml auto so you can see uh, this is the uh, this is showing in right side now and we will also use uh, jumbotron so just quickly search for jumbotron click there and copy this copy this and inside the navigation we have to just uh, deep glass uh, container fluid and paste inside this so here we will do the other things so you can see here our so first we need to create our logout.php so just copy this quickly and create new file paste there and we have to create our logout so here we will just use php opening and closing tag and here we will use session start sorry session start now if session session destroy if session destroy then we will redirect to header header location sorry location index dot php okay now save this close this this is our profile.php just save this and uh, now try to log out from there so just refresh this and when i go to here and click on log out then you can see uh, we uh, have just log out from there and we are in index.php so so and if so we we need one more thing here is what we have to make a session for users we have uh, we just have to create this i will tell you this session.php this file will uh, store all the uh, details of the logged in users 
so quickly create this php so here we will first use session start okay now we will require uh, require config config dot php our configuration okay configuration file now now if uh, uh, the username is on session uh, stored in the session so we will grab the username from the session so we need to create user equal to session user name so we have just grabbed the ses username from the session and we will also use a statement statement equal to con and pre prepare and we will select select asterisk sorry select asterisk from users users where username equal to question mark sorry and we have to just bind our st empty so write bind parent and username is string so we have to mention s here and user user okay this this variable will just go here and now we have to execute this statement so st empty execute execute this now we have to get the result result equal statement now get result get result now we have to store the our result in a uh, variable row so result and we have we are using here fetch fetch array array and we will use mysqli associative so we will write mysqli underscore s of now we will store username in row username here we will write the column name uh, that we want to uh, grab from the uh, database so we want username and name so uh, row name we also want emails whatever you want to grab from the uh, grab for a specific logged in user from the database you can do here so email and uh, also created created so row created created now we will also check if if not it's set if not it's set equal to user then we will redirect to header sorry location index dot php so this is done now we will just use this session dot php in profile dot php so first we need to require this so we will write php and here we will include so just change this to no need to change just write require and here we will use this session session dot php here now now through this session dot php i want to show in here i want to show the username so here uh, just write php 
select php here php and here i will use shorthand so here i want to create uh, so username so we will write username because we have already created a variable with the value username here in the session.php and we have just called this session.php here in the profile.php so we are uh, we are uh, we have um, called the username so just save this and let's try to refresh this and login again so when i log in Wolfmania want to, uh, let's i will uh, enter wrong password then what will uh, say so if i uh, click any uh, enter any wrong password then this uh, alert box will uh, so message login field check your username and password and if i enter one two three four five six uh, correct password and uh, here i will when i click on this remember me okay and click on login then uh, we can go to our um, profile.php so here we can you can show the um, username here and when uh, we click on this username we will uh, getting our uh, drop down list and here is logout when we click on this logout so if we want to go back from profile to index.php then we can't go back to the index.php because we have checked uh, because we already per, uh, the username is already present in the uh, session so um, when session is not destroyed then we can't go back to the index.php we have to destroy the session so for this we have to log out first okay so um, i'm going to uh, show other stuff of the users uh, logged in users in the profile.php so first i am going here and here i will just print a welcome message and i will keep class uh, text center and also um, display display uh, four and underneath i will also create h1 class uh, text center text center sorry text center and uh, display um, 2 and here uh, i will show my uh, name okay so for name we have to pass our name name variable that is created in the session.php okay so we have just let's check this showing or not so you can see uh, we have the name uh, sahil kumar uh, in the uh, with uh, the username ultmania so we are uh, just showing this sahil kumar name okay um, so i am going to show uh, email underneath the name so just create h2 here now class class text center text center and here uh, email email uh, so here i want to show the emails so i will use shorthand and email and underneath i will also show the registered uh, when the user has registered so i will use uh, i will show the date that the user has registered you can show anything that you want to show so here we will registered on registered on and here we will use our soft hand and created now when we will refresh then we can see uh, the email and the date of registration and name and username associated with this username only Tick ok and you can also just show any information regarding this user okay. so when i refresh you can see this page so you can also um, use bg 
info rounded and padding one also and let's check so you can see this and you can also turn uh, text like this uh, i will uh, i'm using this these are uh, these are all the classes of a bootstrap for so just use this so you can see this is our profile page and if we will just go here and log out okay so you can see uh, we have uh, just uh, checked uh, from um, from that time in remember me so the says um, the, so cookie will remember the username and the password okay so when we click again on login then we just go to profile page and from here we if we want to go to index.php so we can't first we have to destroy our session so we have to go log out and if we want to go uh, without login and if you want to go to profile.php so you can't because you have to log in first so whenever you will open your profile.php then it redirects to the index.php okay so you you can also you can also do this you can also do this not do this this okay you can just add this line of code in your any page which you want to preserve from the uh, users uh, that um, treasure from the users before login uh, so uh, user first have to login then go to that page okay so you have to mention this so so one thing when i click when i uncheck this remember me and click on login okay so you can see here this is a profile page and when we uh, create on logout then you can see uh, the username and password is gone because we have unchecked the remember me uh, here so let's uh, register a new user so here i will write bablu kumar and username uh, username uh, should be bablu kumar 6 okay and email email test at the red gmail.com and password i will keep one two three four five okay uh, so you can see here uh, the in error message please enter at least six character so you have to uh, enter six character at least six character so one two three four five six okay and uh, you have to also confirm password with the same value so one two three four five six and seven mm, sorry one two three four five six okay and you can also click on this i agree to the term and condition and when i click on register then you can see the registered successfully and login now and if we uh, we registered with the same username click on register you can see username not available try different if we will use different username then email is already registered to different because we we have just registered this email id okay so this is working perfect you can see in the uh, table one row has been created with the username public mark 6 with the email test at the rate email.com so um, let's try to log in with this so just go to your uh, index.php and try to log in so our username is public mark 6 and password is one two three four five six and when i will remember uh, check remember me and login then you can see the um, name in the name we are showing the name of the user and email and on register in the today's date okay and here the username and if we click on go to uh, log out then you can see if uh, we have checked on remember me then the username and password is remembered and if we click uh, on check and login and again log out then you can see the username and password is not showing here so this is the login page tutorial guys so in the next video i'm i will show you how to make this forget password working using php okay so thanks for watching this video guys uh, if you like this video video then hit on like button and please sub subscribe to my channel